Oh no. Where did I save the customer's phone number? Isn't this spreadsheet? Or maybe that email thread? I can't find it anywhere. Okay, is it in this notebook? Oh damn, I can't find that things. Oh my god, are you struggling these kind of things in everyday basis? So don't worry, you can simply create customers inside Oru 90. You can save all the configure details regarding your customer very easily within a few clicks. So without wasting any time, let's directly move to the video how to set up a customer inside Oru 90. So now let's head over to the sales module. So once you enter, let's move to the order session and under the orders there you can find customers. So just click on the customers and there you will get a dashboard like this. So what you can see, you can see the listed view and as well as the Kanban view. So this is the basic and main difference uh, from Odoo 18 to Odoo 19. In Odoo 18, you can only find a Kanban view, but in Odoo 19, there you can find a listed view and as well as a Kanban view. So first of all, there we have the listed view. So let me explain. Uh, from the listed view, there you can see all the detail regarding a particular customer, which was the name, email, phone number, activities, country, and as well as there is a small capsule type of smart buttons, right? So, first of all, what are the things? There you can find the invoice bills and mandates, and there we have the opportunities, which is a purchase and sale orders, as well as a subscription. And you can also find the meetings under here, okay? So you can simply understand all the activities, all the things regarding this particular customer from the first sight of this particular listed view. And let's move to the Kanban view. From the Kanban view, you can see a car type of view, uh, which you will get the customer information like what's the name of the customer and the number of shareholders, number of transactions, and as well as the valuation. Okay, so let's move to the listed view and let's create a new customer. For that, let's click on the new button and there you will get a form like this. So you need to specify or fill up all the configure option that you can see here. Okay. So first of all, uh, the form is asking you whether this is a person or a company. So you, you can simply uh, specify as per your concern. So here I'm putting this as a person and let me specify which is the person. So um, let me give a name. So the person name is basically Tessa. So, you need to specify uh, the customer information, which is the email and the phone number. So, if this person have an email and phone number, you need to give that properly here. Okay. So, let me give a email. All right. And you can simply give any kind of phone number. All right. And there they have the company. Okay. So, if this person belongs to any company, like a parent company, you can simply specify here. Okay. So, let it be Azure Interiors. So, if the company address and details is already uh, saved at your DB, there, that, that will be auto-populated here. So, once you have entered the company name, the company address will be auto-populated. Okay. And here we have the job position. So, you need to specify the job position, which is uh, Sales Director. And there we have the tax ID. So the tax identification number values here will be validated based on the country format. So you can use a slash to indicate that the partner is not subject to the taxes. So if this person have any tax ID, you can simply put here. If it's uh, if it's not applicable, you can simply empty this. And there we have the partner level. So you can specify uh, the partner level here. Like if this uh, person is a gold. Like you can simply priority, give the priority for the particular customer itself by specifying the partner's level. So let it be a gold. And there we have the website specifying the website and as well as the tags. So let me give a tag, which is an employee. And there we have the contact information. So under this customer information there you can find a uh, one, two, three, yeah, six tabs. First of all, there you can see the contact, sales and purchase, accounting, partners assignment, nouns and as well as UBO. So basically, UBO is a new feature that you can find inside Odoo 19. So let's um, give the contact information from here. 
So you need to create a contact, which is a contact invoice, delivery and others. So let it be a contact information. So you can simply kill, uh, which is a uh, Tessa. And you can put a phone number here and as well as a job title. And if you want to create any internal notes here, you can also do that. Okay. Save and close. And you can put another uh, a contact, which was an invoice address. So let it be. And once you have done with that, you can simply specify the email, phone number, invoice address as well as here. And if you have any invoice, I mean, notes here, internal notes here, you can also do uh, give that. So let's save and close. So as per your concern, you can add several kind of address here. I mean, contact details here. And let's move to the next tab, which is the sales and purchase. So this uh, tab, which is regarding all the information about the sales and purchase of the customer. So that you can fi find different kind of session, which is the sales, purchase, point of sale, fiscal information, and as well as the miscellaneous. So let's start from the sales. So from the sales, you need to specify a salesperson. Uh, so if you want to give any particular salesperson uh, in charge of this particular customer, you can simply specify that. So let it be a mutual admin. And if uh, any payment terms regarding this customer, you can simply put that. So let it be an immediate payment and the payment method as well as you can find. I mean, you can choose all the details. I mean, sales details inside the tab of sales and purchase here. Okay. So let it be a manual payment. And if you want to put any uh, specifying price list for this particular customer, if any kind of discounts or any loyalty, you can simply put here. And there we have the Avalara code, which use this code to cross-reference in Avalara portal. So you can specify that from here and the delivery method, which is a local delivery here. And there we have the next, uh, I mean, next session, which is the purchase. And under the purchase session, there you can see the group RFQ, uh, which is, uh, it defines if RFQ should be grouped put together based on the expected arrival. Uh, there we have different kind of option, which is on order. That means replenishment need will be grouped together, except for MTO. And there we have another option which is daily. Its replenishment need will be grouped if the expected arrival is the same day. Okay. And there we have the third option which is weekly. Replenishment needs will be grouped if the expected arrival is same week or weekday. And lastly, we have always replenishment needs will always be grouped. Okay. So you can choose the option as per your concern of the group RFQ and there we have the buyer. So if you want to specify any buyer for this corresponding customer, you can simply uh, choose from here. By clicking on here, you will get the buyer's information. So you can simply put that. And there we have the payment terms. So if you want to add any payment terms, you can specify that in payment method. And there we have one note 99 box, which the journal items of this vendor will be summed in the selected box of one dot one not nine nine report. Okay. So you can uh, I mean specify that with this option. And there we have the receipt reminder. So if you want to automatically send a confirmation email to the vendor X days before the expected receipt date ask him him to confirm the exact date you can simply choose the option which is receipt reminder and there we have the supplier currency if you want to choose any supplier currency from here so this currency will be used for the purchase from the current partner by specifying here okay and there we have the point of sales so you need to specify the barcode here use a barcode to identify this contact so you can i mean use the field option like for any kind of confusion regarding this option and there you can simply uh, specify the fiscal information or the fiscal position here regarding this customers for uh, any kind of taxes accounts or anything and there we have the miscellaneous so that this is the miscellaneous things that you can see the citizen identification reference website website tax and as well as the sale policies so you can i mean choose the option or customize the option as per your concern about this particular customer and there we have our next tab which is accounting so the tab this tab is basically giving all the accounting details about um 
this particular customer. Seconding related settings are managed on the parent company because we have already specified our parent company which is Azure Interiors. Okay, so the, all the accounting detail about this particular customer is uh, corresponding to the parent company. Okay, and there we have the partner assignment. So when we are moving to the partner's assignment, there you will see three kind of session which is the partner's activation partner review and as well as the geolocation from the partner activation there you will uh, see the commission plan activation time level weight and everything and there we have the partner review which you can see the latest review next review and partnership date uh, so you can simply understand all the partner uh, details or partner regarding things uh, from the partner's assignment and there we have the geolocation so you can simply put the geolocation or set as your location here and there we have the notes so if you want to add any internal notes to this specific customer you can simply put here and lastly here we have the UBO under the UBO you will see different kind of configure option so you all uh, have a doubt what you mean by UBO UBO section is basically used to record information about the real people who ultimately own or control the business especially for regulatory and complaints purpose so basically um, the UBO stands for ultimate beneficial owner okay so uh, you all have a doubt which like uh, why UBO is so important it's basically helps to meet legal regulation about transparency in ownership identifies who really controls the company even if ownership is through complex structure and useful in preventing fraud money laundering and as well as ensuring proper kyc okay which is know your customer procedures so this is very useful and important thing and there you need to specify the ID number and PEP, which is the politically exposed person. So if you want to uh, do, I mean, expose this person, you can simply uh, choose this option or you don't want, you can simply prop this. And there we have the birth date and birthplace. And you need to specify the company, control method, ownership, voting right, and as well as the control start date. Okay. So that's all about the tabs that are regarding this customer information. And there we have four smart uh, tabs, I mean smart buttons on the tab. Uh, there you can see the opportunities. So from here you can see all the opportunities regarding the customer. You can simply click on that tab and you will uh, definitely go through the uh, opportunity side. And let's move to the customer. And there we have the sales. So if the customer having any kind of sales orders and anything, you can simply see from your smart tab, the smart tab. And there we have the invoiced. And there we have the more. Under the more, there you can see the subscription meetings, ticket, task, purchases, documents, lot and serial numbers, direct debit mandate. And lastly, you can go to the website if it's published. Okay. So that's all about the customer information inside Odoo 90 so once you have done with that uh we all are done with it let's move to the customer side and yeah our tessa as your interior tessa is already created okay so i hope you all understood the video so if you like this video please do subscribe share with your friends and i'll be back with another next beautiful video till that bye, -bye.